So hello and welcome to Let's Talk SEO. Regular expressions or regex as it's often referred to is one of the best ways to figure out what's going on with your Google Search Console data. You can use regex to figure out exactly what queries are getting the most traffic, what queries are not getting clicks at all, figure out the number of zero click queries, figure out number of zero click impressions, figure out how many impressions your, uh, your website is getting for uh, informational keywords or non-informational keywords, keywords that are questions, or keywords that can possibly turn into a, a blog post. So there's a lot you can do with regular expressions that most people are not aware of. I actually have an Excel sheet that's full of regular expressions that I use on a regular basis. The problem with regular expressions is you need to know how to use those regular expressions and then you need to plug them into Google Search Console, which is not everyone's cup of tea. Fortunately, I found a tool that makes it exceptionally easy for anyone to start using regular expressions right away. And the best of all is you do not need to keep track of every regular expression. In fact, you could say the regular expression to this Google Chrome extension and just click it and whenever you want to use a regular expression, this makes mining data on your Google Search Console a lot easier, a lot faster, and a lot less frustrating. Plus, you can save regular expressions that you find on the internet and give it a shot. So, without further ado, let me jump into the video and show you the tool in action and how you can use it to mine the data about your website from Google Search Console. So, if you are a nerd and you're into learning syntaxes and you know programming and you want to know how regex expressions work, this is Google's documentation and guidelines on regex expressions. Uh, if you master regex expressions, the great thing about this is that you can extract a great deal of data from Google Search Console, which is otherwise buried deep within various other pieces of often fluff and data that, is not, that, that does not make a lot of sense. Uh, keep in mind that the data that Google Search Console presents or provides is far richer than what most people would like to believe. There's a lot more information in there than most people would know. And so, the thing is, if you use regular expressions, this will help you extract data that helps you make better sense of what's going on with your website. But that's all new. Everyone knows what regular, regular expressions is. If you've been doing SEO for a while, you already know that it is. But if you're anything like me and you know what regular, regular expressions are and you use them on a regular basis, you're probably maintaining an Excel sheet where they are listed and then you just copy and paste the regular expression that you're looking for or you come up with a regular expression on the fly. There is a tool here that makes things a lot easier. I wish I knew about this tool a while back, but I just found out about it. And I think it's, this is gonna be extremely valuable for anyone who does SEO. Now, I don't know who the creator of this tool is. It says it's someone by the name of This Is Natty. Not sure who they are. The name of the tool is Better Regex and Search Console. The documentation on this is very sparse, but it's a very easy to use Google Chrome plugin. So once you are, you know, once you are having this installed, like I have this installed, I'll show you how this works. The other thing about this is there's no there's no documentation. This is probably the only video of this in action, and there's a brief description, some reviews, which is why I think this video is going to be. Very helpful for someone who's trying to get into regular expression or already uses regular expressions, but is not sure exactly how they work. So once you log into Google Search Console, this is for cloudseodubai.com. So once you've logged in, you click on performance here on the left, and now you will see this little button in green that says regex expressions or sorry regex presets so you click here and on the left you presented with two tabs so this query and this page on the left these are the presets that you're provided with on the right is you can save your own presets and these are my presets and the way you save a preset and there's some of those that i've copied over from my excel sheet if you want to save a preset and you have already a preset all you need to do is type it in over here for instance i'll do this and you hit save as preset give it a name and then you're done. If you want to delete a preset, this is over here. Just cl click this and it's deleted. Now, there are two types of presets. They've, you've got query and you've got page. So you can query the query database and you can query the page database. And both have presets over here. This is my little preset that I have over here. So if you if you want the whole full list of my presets, you can leave a comment. Let me know and I will put up a link or send you the preset. It's not a long list. It's like maybe like 10, 12 of them, but they're, I use them on a regular basis. So just to show you how this works. So let's say we're trying to figure out. I'll close this up over here. So let's say we, we're trying to figure out, you know, how many um, queries we, ha we have with a purchase intent. Now, even though this is for e-commerce, it says it's for e-commerce, we can use it for 
you know, professional website like mine as well. So you can do over here, purchase intent, click apply, and you can see the regex over here. So if you want to alter, you want to edit the, the, the regex, you can do it over here, click apply, and you will see all the queries that have that intent, which I don't because mine is not an e-commerce store, but you can still try it out. And you can also look for reviews and ratings. So you hit apply and see so you'll see if there are any over here. You can also use the regex to find transactional intent keywords, which is extremely helpful. Um, so you can see best SEO expert, which is transactional, cheap SEO to buy, transactional, SEO online to buy, transactional. So with just a click of a button, you're pulling up transactional keywords that are otherwise, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy for you to find. So these are keywords that your website is already showing up for, which makes it a lot easier to optimize for. Plus, if you've got my presets over here. So one of my presets is query with eight plus eight plus words. So this is what I use to find long tail keywords. So you can see I have a few long tail keywords. So I'll try to look at, you know, if I can optimize for these. Usually they are low volume, but still over the past year, I've got a three to 400 imp impressions for these. So I might want to optimize for them. Also the impressions have increased as of late. The other thing is, is these pages. So if you go to pages over here, you will see that you've got URLs with three layers. Apply the reg the regular expression. Just want to close these off real quick so there's no confusion. And URLs with three levels. Go here, apply, scroll down, go to pages. So this makes it a lot easier for you to find pages that are tucked deep within your directory structure. So you'll find this, these types of pages, and you can decide. Okay, well, do I want to keep these pages? or do I want to revise these pages, or do I want to merge them, or just remove them all together. This gives you an opportunity to find these types of pages that are otherwise not easy to find. Uh, and one of my presets here is ends with a trailing slice. So if you click on ends with a trailing slice, hit apply, you know, same thing. You'll, you'll find all of these that have, all of the links that have a trailing slash. So it makes it easier for you to find ones that don't have a trailing slash, and then, you know, fix that because you want all of your URLs to have a consistent trailing slash or not have a consistent trailing slash. So as you can see, this tool is very easy to use, extremely helpful, and I think you guys should, be, should start using this right away um, and make use of regular expressions that this will up your SEO game a great deal. So I hope you find the video useful, like, subscribe, and always leave a comment below, and happy ranking.